All right, guys, 8-7, slope-intercept form, one of the most important formulas in your algebra career for the remainder of middle school and high school. Slope-intercept form is very simple. It is y equals mx plus b, okay, not a 6, that's a b, where we know that y and x are part of our graphs, so we need to find out what is this m and what does this b stand for. Now, you will recall, hopefully, last week when we did slope and I gave you that slope formula in your notebook, it said m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we know that m is going to be the representative of our slope. And so since we're doing slope and intercept form, we already have the slope, so this b must be an intercept. Now, the b is an intercept, it's a very specific one. It is the y-intercept, which means that's where intercept. That's where my graph is going to intersect the y-axis. So if I gave you over here to the right the equation y equals negative 2x plus 6, and I asked you to tell me what the slope was and what the y-intercept was, this would be very simple. The slope is just the number in front of the x. So my slope is going to be negative 2. And my y-intercept is going to be 6. Okay, You will get some problems that are that simple. They just give you the formula. You have to take the numbers out. Okay, Stepping it up a notch, you might get something like this. Now, you'll remember when we graphed before, we had to really focus on getting the y all by itself. This is the reason, because now that we're in y equals mx plus b form, we want that y by itself. So I need to move that negative 2x to the other side. Again, with equations, I do the opposite. So this is a negative 2x. The opposite of that's going to be a positive 2x. Those will cancel. Now, I could write this 4 plus 2x, or I could write it 2x plus 4. I want to write it 2x plus 4 because that puts it in my y equals mx plus b form. So now let's find out what we have. Slope is what? 2, exactly. And then the y-intercept, or the b, I'm going to put y-intercept, just a habit of mine, is 4. Okay? So what does all that mean? Now we've been able to find that. You know they're going to ask you to, um, to graph it. So let's take a moment and get some graph paper. Okay, we've got our graph paper now, and I've also put another equation up there. So our next equation is y equals 3x minus 2. Let's find the two things that we have found initially. Um, let's find what our slope is. And our slope in this case is the number in front of the x, which is 3. And then our y-intercept is the number that's all by itself. That's going to be negative 2. So right away I can plot the y-intercept. I'm going to go on my y-axis. Again, that's my vertical axis. And I'm going to go to where y equals negative 2, and I'm going to put a point. Okay, so I'm going to move this down just a little bit. So there's where my y equals negative 2. Now, we're going to take that slope, which was 3, and we're going to write it as a fraction. The reason I write it as a fraction is because we also had, back when we learned how to do slope, a term called rise over run. 
and so I'm going to put my point on my starting coordinate which is down here and I'm going to rise three one two three and then I'm going to run one and then I'm going to keep my point on that coordinate because I always want three points and do the same thing. One, two, three, run, one. And I have just graphed the line. I want to make that a little bit better, guys. Sorry. Now... I really want to make that better. There we go. Okay. And just like our other ones, I want to go ahead and label that. So that's going to be y equals 3x minus 2. Okay. So let's take another one. Um, okay, let's take a look at this one. You know, we, we sometimes fear the fraction. I know we're starting to get over that. It's not such a big deal. In these problems, fractions aren't a problem. They actually make it just a little bit easier. Um, I know my slope is the number that's out in front of the y, or excuse me, out in front of the x. So that's going to be 1 fourth. And then I know my y-intercept is negative 6. Now in the last one I had to put my slope over 1, had to make it into a fraction so I could get rise over run, but in this case it already is a fraction so that actually saves me step. So here's our y-axis. We're gonna go down where y is negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, our slope tells us to rise 1 and run 4. So I go up 1 and over 4. Up 1, over 4. I could do this all day. I could make my graph as big as I want it to be. Um, obviously, we don't need it any bigger than that. So let's take our line there. And that is y equals 1 fourth x minus 6. I think you guys will like these. I think um, you know it's a lot easier way to graph, in my opinion, than making the table. And when we get to the test, you can take your choice which method you would like best. I think most of you will probably use this method. Um, so we will see you in the morning.